Hello everyone and welcome to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 tutorial. In this one, I want to show you what's new in CC 2017, particularly with respect to saving images for the web. There is a new function or a new, yeah, a new function called export as, which is a little different than you might be used to, and I want to compare that to the old deprecated version, which is save for web. Now, for those of you that are new to CC 2017, when you click on file, you're going to notice that in previous versions, the save for web legacy is usually just right here on the left side. You don't have to go hover over. It is now, you know, one, one menu over and it's now called legacy because it has been deprecated and it has been, um, it has been superseded by export as. But before we get into the export as, let's take a quick look at save for web. So when I talk about some of the changes, you're going to know what the hell I'm talking about. All right. Very, very simple. Uh, it's all the same stuff as, you know, he here's what you would see in CC 2015. Really nothing's changed. On the left, on the right side, let's start there. You can go ahead and select a preset. I've got nothing at the moment. But if you want to select a GIF or a GIF, depending on how you want to pronounce it, really simple. You just drag that drop down, boom. JPEG, PNG 8, PNG 24, WBMP. PNG 8, I'll click on that. You're going to notice the file size right here, 9.46 megabytes never mind I'm um, pretty huge guys but anyways that's how you do that in the old save for web version also you can make some changes in here um, if you want to change the image size there we go I'm going to change it to a thousand just for thousand just for kicks I hit enter and boom it's changed it also the size of the files go down to 3.81 megabytes all there stuff that you're familiar with for up is one of the other things that I used to like to use a lot where you can look at it in different versions so I've got the original PNG 8 at 100%, uh, etc., etc., and it gives you all the different file sizes, 412, 471, stuff you're used to, no big deal. I only say that because now I want to compare that to the export as function. This is different. Let's go ahead. This is a new way of, of saving things for the web. So let's go ahead. Click on export as. All right. This does not look like anything. I'm just going to delete those out for now because I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. So this doesn't look anything like save for web, but it's very, very similar. First thing, I've got it selected at PNG, JPEG, GIF, and SVG, which is Scalable Vector Graphic. It's a cool new file type, which is a huge change and very useful, especially for you uh, illustrator types. But anyways, yeah, it's there now. But look, let's look at PNG. It is automatically selected at the higher 24-bit format. You can go ahead and make it smaller. If you click on that, it will reduce its size, and in some cases that makes sense. If you looked on the left side, there you're going to notice it went from 1.5 megabytes to 732 kilobytes. So that could make sense in some of your guys' uh, situations. But there's a new change right there. Image size, pretty standard stuff. You can go ahead and overwrite it just like last time. I'm just going to type in 1200, hit enter, boom, done. You can also change the resample, but that's outside the scope of this video. That's a little bit more of a complex um, uh, process that I don't want to really go into at the moment. Uh, canvas size, that was not available in Safe for Web, so this is kind of cool too. Um, the canvas size can be changed, and it can be changed on uh, the X and the Y. So let's go ahead and make the canvas size 1500. Let's go ahead and do that. Bang, the width is now 1500. <laughs> if everything in life I could just make it bigger by touching a button. But anyways, I've been to jail. It's all good. So 1500, change it up, 1500. Don't really see anything right now, but if I zoom out, yeah, now you see it. I had to zoom out, sorry about that. You're gonna see like on the outside of the of the image, there's a transparency. That's basically now the, the canvas size is bigger, so we're gonna save it with a larger canvas size. Not a big deal, but for those of you that like that kind of thing and need to do it, it's there now. It wasn't really available in the past, as far as I remember. So I'm just gonna send it back to Magic, back to where it used to be. You can also save copyright and metadata, contact info, pardon me. I don't really use it, but, but if you need to do it, it's there. Convert to sRGB is there. Also, always keep that clicked if you're doing a web, safer web application. But here's where the really cool stuff comes down. Size. I know it matters, ladies. And just watch this. Oh, boy. All right. I'm just going to click this button, the plus button. And here's where it gets really cool. Now I've added a 0.5 size. Uh, so it's half as big. So I've gone ahead and hit the plus button. Three quarters as big. A quarter is big, and if you need a special, you know, unique size, you can just go ahead and hold this down, and you see as I scroll down here, hey, I want something that's 2x instead of 0.5x, done. All there 
easy to do. This is now available in the export as I kind of like it. Next thing you want to do is you want to click export all. And this is where it gets really cool. So instead of just um, sending one file out or one image, we are going to export all of these things. Watch this. I'm just going to click the button and it should quickly roll that out. And while it does that, I'm just going to go to my desktop and load that up while I look for it. I have to make this a little bit um, a little bit nicer, I'm not going to lie. But when I click, when I open export as, you're going to see, boom, there's the regular version. Here's the 0.5 version. Here's the 0.75 version. Here's the 2x version. I know Sketch 3 and Sketch 4, and it's now Sketch 4, they have something like this too. And I think uh, Adobe might have learned a thing from them, although I'm not sure who came first. The last thing I want to show you, and this is ultra cool, not going to lie, you're going to really like this, is you can now go ahead and click on your Layers panel and save any particular layer or export it without having to do any of the you know file export as type things. All you got to do, and I'm just going to click on this ex this parental advisory thing here, is uh, I'm just going to use this layer as an example. Right click, quick export as PNG. I'm going to put it in Tasty, wherever the heck the export as thing that I had last time. Where was it? In my desktop? Yeah, sorry. I just got to look for it right here. And I'm going to call it Parental Advisory Logo.png. Right click right off of that. I'm going to go in there and open that up. And boom, you're going to see that. So these are some of the new options in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. I hope this video helped, and I'll be back soon with some more stuff. All right, check it out.